auction two families. Hey guys, as you saw in our timber video, our new theme this year is connection. We want you to feel connected no matter what option you chose. We are gonna share a book with you called The Uncorker of Ocean Bottles. The Uncorker of Ocean Bottles lived alone on a high spot with only one tree for shade. He always kept his eyes on the waves, watchful for a glint of glass. He had a job of the utmost importance. It was his task to open any bottles found at sea and make sure they were delivered. Sometimes to deliver a bottle, he needed only to stroll to the nearest village. Other times he would journey until his compass became rusty and he felt lonesome as sharp as fish scales. Sometimes the messages were very old, crunchy like leaves in the fall. Sometimes the messages were written in a quill dipped in sadness. But most of the time they made people quite happy for a letter can hold the treasure of a clam hugged pearl. When the uncorker of ocean bottles loved his job, he couldn't help but wonder if he would ever receive a letter. Truth be told, each time he opened a bottle, a part of him hoped to see his own name winking from the top of the page. But then he remembered that this was about as likely as finding a mermaid's toenail on the beach. For he had no name, he had no friends, he stank of seaweed and salt and fishermen's feet. No one would ever write him a letter. But he still would have liked it, just the same. One day, the waves tipped their white postman hats to the uncorker and delivered a bottle with a very peculiar letter inside. I'm not sure you'll get this in time, but I'm having a party. Tomorrow evening tide at the seashore. Will you please come? Oh dear, said the uncorker. He had no idea who the letter was for or where to deliver it. But the truth was, he was very curious. He'd never been invited to a party before, and he suspected he might like to go. First, he visited the maker of cakes. Pardon, said the uncorker, but do you recognize this print? The cake maker studied the note. Don't recognize the script, he finally said. But oh, how I love a seaside dance. The uncorker moved on. He asked the candy shop owner. He asked a woman buying chocolate dipped treats. He asked a young girl in a green dress. Sorry, each one sighed. Though I do wish I'd received an invitation to such a party. The uncorker asked a seagull, a sailor, and a one-man band. But nobody could claim the letter. Nobody in the sky or sand or sea. The uncorker felt very low. This was the first time he had been unable to deliver a message. As he fell asleep that night, the uncorker decided to go to the seashore the next day. He would go and apologize to the writer of the note. The uncorker of ocean bottles arrived early, carrying a handful of his favorite seashells. He thought it might be rude to show up uninvited and empty handed. The seashore was draped in seaweed and starfish. Candles floated in clamshells. There were sand sculptures and umbrellas. It's you, said the maker of cakes. How grand, said the candy shop owner. The other guests had arrived already. A woman, a girl in a green dress, a seagull, a sailor, and a one-man band. When the girl in the green asked the uncorker of ocean bottles to dance, he said, I'm not sure I know how, but I'd like to just the same. As they spun across the beach, the water's edge and back again, everyone smiled and kept the beat. The young corker's heart was a glass vessel filled to the brim. As the stars began to arrive, and the moon as well, the uncorker took out the bottle he had been unable to deliver. Perhaps, he said, his mouth full of cake, yes, perhaps I shall try to deliver this again tomorrow.